I'm going to turn the valve itself out of 0.250 hardware store steel rod. It, the valve needs a a 0.125 an eighth of an inch head on it and then from that eighth of an inch on down for 0.600 inches it needs to be turned down from 0.250 to 0.150 so what I'm going to do is turn it, I'm going to cut it down to uh, 0.150 with a grooving tool to build myself a relief cut and then I'm going to come back up to within 0.125 of the end of it and do the same thing and then I'll turn it between those two cuts. It's going to have to be done very carefully because I have this uh, 0.250 rod extended uh, an inch and it should be extended no more than three quarters of an inch to fit the rule that no more than three times the diameter should be uh, extended past the, the chuck with, with the end unsupported. So I may wind up doing this more than once. Alright, we're going to find, we're going to find uh, zero, got my machine set right, and we're going to cut down a hundred thousandths to, uh, re to give myself a relief cut. <coughs> back in there because I've weakened the rod with that cut. I've weakened the rod with that cut and if I try to make this one um, on that weakened rod it might break. So I'm going to slide it back in there. position my cutter at 25 thousandths. Alright, I want 
to come in 125 thousandths plus the width of the cutter. which is 0.063, so that's uh, 0.188. I want to come in 188 thousandths. So there's 100. 
and this uh, tool holder. That'll let me get in there a bit easier, I believe, and make the cut without in, without getting close to the back edge of the head of the valve body. I think I had the camera turned off the entire time I was talking to you and creating this cut in the, in the valve. The cut is 600 thousandths long and it's below a 1 8, 1 8 inch uh, head. And I performed the cut with this um, parallelogram uh, high speed steel Arthur R. Anderson. Arthur R. Warner uh, insert and I uh, cut, uh, did some relief slots here and here so I could cut between them. Turned out well, finish is good, the finish makes a little difference on this piece. And the next uh, operation in the lathe with this piece is to uh, cut, uh, remove it from the uh, stock. Alright, I'm going to separate the valve from the uh, rod and stock. I want, it to, I want the base of this valve to be 0.400 inches long, so the cutter is 0.063, so I'm going towards the chuck 4.63 inches. There's 100, 200, 300, 400, went past it, 6, back up, 3, right there.
calm down. in the uh, lathe, clean up this end and uh, chamfer that end with a file. While I've been working on this quarter inch uh, steel, I've, I've had uh, the uh, rod stuck completely through the lathe and you can see the that I have my outboard spiders in place to hold it uh, more or less centered. I'll give it a twirl. If you don't do that, then that, uh, that rod will be flopping around all over the place and uh, something bad will happen. I don't know exactly what bad will happen because I've never done it and I don't intend to.